Hi, in this video I'll be uh, making a, uh, a spur gear. It's very simple, so let's get started. By making a new part, we're just uh, gonna make it in millimeter newton second. And uh, that's a metric system, press OK. And next you need to do is, is just make an extrude, select the front datum, that one. You're making two circles, one and two. First one is 45, the second one is 85. And I want to give a thickness of 20. So, okay. Next, I'm going to create the tooth. Select the front. Sketch. Turn off that. So, I'm going to go sketch references. I'll pick my references. Solve close. Next, I'm going to put a center line right here. Uh, there's two ways of doing this. You can just use a straight line, just drawing your teeth such as that. And then tweaking the angles and making it look like a curve. Or, or you can take a little bit of time and use this spline tool to create the shape of your teeth or tooth and then you just can move these points up and down to give them different curvature make it more steep less and once you're done you just basically click on that you do a left click and then you basically click on here the icon which basically copies it Select the center, and that's another copy of that curve that I made. And you close the loop, and you press check mark, and then you do the rest. But I have made my own. I have used a similar approach, and I made my own profile. I have it in my computer memory. What I'll need to do is press Control and V. And then you can see the plus sign is right in the bottom of my cursor. I'm just gonna click where I want to paste it. It will come right there, and then I'll take this cross and pull it down until these corners meet with my diameter. So just gonna leave it a little bit up, maybe by that much, or maybe lesser than that and then I'm gonna bring it all the way down until it almost touches and then let's ask what's the skill I'm gonna say one to one and fix it okay so this looks good press ok and here I have my gonna select the other side and from here on it's very simple you just select this uh, extrude that you made and then you select the pattern use axis and you select the center and then I have 18 here I have 20 degree here Press OK. There you go. I have all the 18 tooth or teeth, 18 teeth, and and then all you need to do is just make a quick uh, chamfer to make it look a little bit nice. And there you go. You have yourself a spur gear. And this profile depends on how your calculation is 
based on what that you're designing. So obviously this one is just a jewelry chair or just something that I just made up. And, and obviously yours will be different. But the procedure how to make it is should be similar to what I did. So thank you very much for watching and please subscribe, comment and you have any problem please do not hesitate to send me an email or a message. Thank you very much.